All right, is this thing on? I think it's on. Yeah, it's on. Okay, cool. All right. <coughs> hello, everyone. I'm just sitting here. I've uh, I have a cat here. Say hello, everyone. You don't like that at all, do you? Okay, I'll, I'll put you down. All right, see you later. Um, I'm just sitting here. Uh, I'm gonna close my door. I'm just uh, sitting here enjoying myself some uh, blackberries, some raspberries, and some uh, a little bit of blueberries. How are you? I hope you are doing fantastic. I know I'm pretty good. Hmm. This air smells a little bit weird though, so I'm gonna spray some Febreze so I smell nice and fresh for you guys. Um, and I'd also like to show you this. I went to a party. My friend Elise made this for me. It's, um, says my name, <laughs> and it's awesome. All right, so I also have the subway card. <laughs> Why am I showing you this? Who cares? You do, obviously, because and it, everything I do is important, apparently. Even the mundane things such as going to Subway. Anyway, to get on track for this video, I had uh, a question that was asked for me in one of my comments from Caitlin, her YouTube channel is Clibak. You should check out her channel because she's funny and hilarious and she also makes video blogs herself. She asked, have you ever gone to VidCon? Now, as a matter of fact, I went to VidCon 2012, so a little bit less than a year ago. I think VidCon is like the midway through July or something, so I went last year. And it was it was really fun. It was really interesting. It was something I've never done before. I don't think it, well, I'm not going to go this year. Um just because last year when I went, it was a great experience and everything, but I didn't really have any friends that went. I didn't really I all of the online friends that I had weren't going to VidCon, and there was a few people that I knew online that I got to meet, like Zila. Um, if you check out his channel, it's Mr. Fancy Car. We used to watch each other's videos a lot. Um, and a few other people like that, but there wasn't anyone really there that I hung out with. So I got to meet a bunch of people, but I was, like, alone while I was there. Um, it was great, like, I got to meet Dan Brown, Pogo Bat, he's one of my very favorite, um, YouTubers ever, and I got to meet, I met Wheezy Waiter on an elevator, um, I was actually going up to my room to chill out a little bit because going into a place where there's a bunch of YouTubers, it's like YouTube 4D or something, it's really weird, to, like, it's, it's sensory overload to your brain. Imagine watching YouTubers for four or five years, some of them watching them like every day, and then all of a sudden just seeing them walk around and knowing like every personality is a little bit different than online. Like a person interacting with the camera is different than interacting with them in real life. Like Hank Green, talking to a camera, that's not, the way he talks to a camera isn't how he talks to people exactly in real life, and a lot of video bloggers are in their room alone, so they're interview, introverts or, or, um, anxious or whatever, like, they might not be as good in social situations, so you get a, a lot of dynamics, like, social di dynamics like that, and it's kind of, kind of weird, it's really overwhelming. So I was trying to get away, I went onto an elevator, the doors were closing, and as they were closing, I saw Wheezy Waiter try, like running, trying to get on, as the doors closed, they closed, and then they opened up back up again, 
and Wheezy Waiter walked onto the elevator, and um, I was really surprised, and I was, I was, I was pretty like overwhelmed with people, so I did. I was kind of like shocked. I didn't know what to say. I didn't really have anything planned, so I was. I I thanked them for the shoes because I got a pair of Wheezy Waiter shoes, and they weren't coming in on time. So I actually emailed Wheezy Waiter or Craig himself. And I was like, yeah, I didn't get my shoes. And then he followed up with the company. And then I got, then he helped me got, get my pair of shoes. So I, th I thanked him for helping me get a pair of his own shoes. And um, he was in the middle of filming a video. So he was there with Corey Vidal. I met him as well. And he said, I remember, I can't always remember what Wheezy Witter said next. He said, ooh. I'm sweaty because he was he was running around and really hot from running around the California heat um, filming a video and so well that's a ramble I don't know what the the original point to that was because I went off into a few different tangents but oh yeah uh, Toby Turner I remember seeing him and I was thinking of um, talking to Toby Turner, he was coming out of a coffee shop, and you you could tell he had enough of it, because Toby Turner is one of the people that's, like, one of the biggest on YouTube, but their, his audience is also usually pretty young, like, pre-teen, young teenagers, and he has probably the most radical fans, like the screaming, ah, I need to meet you, type of fans. So I saw him one day getting coffee in the morning and he seemed like he just like wasn't in the mood for it at the moment. He like wanted some time to himself and <laughs> I remember seeing him pick up his phone and I'm pretty sure he was pretending to talk on his phone. So I was like, okay, I won't, I won't bother him. I thought it was pretty funny though. He was just like walking down the hallway just talking but you could tell he was talking to his friend beside him and even despite that even with this the cover of him um pretending to talk on the phone so people wouldn't bother him he people still came up to him i saw like this group of like four preteen girls pretty much dive at him and they all hugged him all at once and he probably had to deal with that like the whole VidCon experience um so you know I let him be I wanted to meet him but you know I'd rather just not meet someone and bother them does that make sense like I remember even seeing Dan Brown and he was eating lunch and I was like, oh, it's Dan Brown. It was the first time I got to see him physically with my own eyes. And he's someone that I wanted to meet and uh, a vlogger that I watched for a really long time. So I was excited to meet. And so when I saw him for the first time, I was like, whoa, there he is. But he was eating. So it's like weird because like, what do you do in that situation? You don't want to go up and bother people while they're eating. A lot of the time, people, you'd see YouTube celebrities just at restaurants. Like, I saw Charlie McDonald um, at in hot IHOP eating with his girlfriend. And obviously, like, <laughs> I, I just feel weird going up to people when they're on their leisurely time. Not really there to meet people, but just to eat their food or they're trying to check into their hotel or, or, or something like that. I don't know you know and I figured I'd see them later so there's a lot of that there's a lot of like what is socially acceptable what is appropriate I want to talk to this person but how do I do this and it's it's kinda of hard when when there's that dynamic of talking to someone that you know a lot about and you're like I watched like a hundred of your videos and I've been watching you for years and I know who you are based on your vlogs, but you have no idea who I am. And it, it's a weird dynamic because you talk to them as if you knew them your whole life and they don't even know who you are. So, kind of, kind of, kind of weird. Like, not, I'm not used to situations like that in day-to-day -day life, so it was pretty overwhelming. But, at the same time, 
I'll show you some stuff that I, I decided to keep. I kept a box of some of this stuff, some souvenirs. Um, this is this is the tag I wore. This is like the lanyard. This is the ticket that I that I had to use to um, get in and walk around. And you had to be wearing one of these at all times um, to show that you paid for being there and you're allowed to be there, basically. And um, the community, I volunteered there last year. I helped by um, giving people coming into VidCon all um, their packages and t-shirts and their startup and um, people would come and you know show proof for their for the ticket I had to check people's IDs so um, they could prove who they were and then I'd give them their um, their lanyard their ticket and I'd give them one of these booklets the guide to VidCon which basically well it shows the schedule of everything that's going on so there is uh, st stuff on the main stage like every night so you know um, like when Wheezy Waiter was on the stage you could find out when that happened you could tell find out when certain meetups were happening because there was multiple things happening at once there was like multiple youtubers having their own meetup so you got to meet your favorite youtuber or there was also like a lot of seminar type things on like maybe internet marketing or um, I don't know st stuff that helps you with YouTube I got to see a documentary I yeah the, one of the coolest things was I saw a documentary um, I forget what it was called but it showed like behind the scenes of like lives of Wheezy Waiter and Dan Brown and it's I think you could watch it now. It's published live on on YouTube. I think it's live on YouTube. But yeah, it had Dan Brown, Wheezy Waiter, um, Mystery Guitar Man. Um, is it Hannah Hart, the one that does Drunk, My Drunk Kitchen? Um, Mitchell Davis from Live Lava Live. And. Uh, Will of DC, he was also in that documentary, and after, and it was cool because you got to see behind the scenes of their lives, so you got to see them more as people rather than just YouTubers, you got to see all the work they had have to do behind the scenes, and like some of it went really personal, like went deeper into their personal lives, like Dan Brown talked about his depression he went through when he went through his project Dan 3.0 and, um, and Mitchell Davis talked about his hard times in his life so it was really it was really interesting I liked it a lot but was also cool about it was after the showing the um, the panel or um, there was a panel with Wheezy Waiter like everyone from it Wheezy Waiter Dan Brown um, like Mitchell Davis, Joe Penna, uh, Mr. Guitar Man's Joe Penna. And people like asked them questions and they were there live just asking, uh, talking about their lives. And people mostly asked them about being a YouTuber. Like what's it like? What are the challenges that you go through? And it was, it was really interesting. That was probably one of my favorite parts. Um, I also got to hang out with Mr. Repsion. I don't know if you know who that is, but um, he's popular here on YouTube, YouTube, and he's one of my favorite uh, YouTubers just because I find him a very honest person. He has very strong opinions and views. Um, I don't know. He, he talks a lot about religion. Um, a lot of social issues that are going on right now. Um, like he talks about a lot of human rights with people. Like any issues or stories that come up that he disagrees with, he talks a lot about that. I'm not giving a very good description. You should just check him out. But I got to hang out with him for a while. And um, so on the back of this book, I get to uh, you know who Vsauce is. Michael Stevens from Vsauce. I got to meet him and I talked to him for a little bit. And um, 
and there's I don't know if you've ever watched the gradual report but he's a really classic youtuber in the sense that he was around near the beginning of YouTube when it was just vloggers and YouTube wasn't such a huge thing maybe 2005 2006 very very new YouTube and he used to make videos back then and he still makes videos so it was really cool to see him um, the gradual report Dan Danny from the gradual report and he, talking to him was probably another really highlight of my experience there because I don't know we had a really good conversation about YouTube and a really genuine conversation. He was like, re he was really chill and cool to talk to. I mean, I met a few other people that like, it was really cool to meet, but we didn't really click or get into a deep conversation. Like, as I said, when I met Wheezy Waiter, um, we didn't really have a very deep conversation. It was like, oh, thank you for the shoes, bye. And he was in the middle of shooting a video. So it wasn't really a conversation. It was more like, hey, nice to meet you. See you later, sort of deal <laughs> um, but anyway so that's so that was really cool to be able to talk to him and it being like a really genuine cool conversation like we talked for a good 15 minutes about YouTube and and yeah different stuff so <laughs> I got him to sign my book and it says thanks for the best night of my life and, and then this signed Danny, and then he's like, and then this is little, literally what he said. He's like, okay, and now I'll draw a a rocket ship for you. And he drew a rocket ship really quickly, and then as soon as he drew it, he looked at it and he was like, um, and I looked at it and I was like, uh, so so take a look at that. That's the that's the rocket ship, the gradual report made for me. <laughs> um. Kind of looks a little bit phallic. Anyway, that's 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 cool. That's cool. And yeah, I got to meet Dan Brown too, and I had a nice conversation with him about YouTube, and at the time where he was going with his channel, and you know, he talked about working at Fuse and stuff like that. So he was cool to meet as well. I was really looking forward to meeting him. I met Pat Does It, who is a YouTuber that I actually found his channel through Dan Brown's channel, so I got to meet him. I had breakfast with him and his brothers, and um, his brother his brother and his friend um, are running a company called T-Go-Go, so he, was, he told me all about his business plan, and what they basically do is they specialize in making custom t-shirts so there are thousands of designs that you could make um, and then you're able to just order them online order the design that you created and then have them printed for a price and so this is good for youtubers because youtubers can make their own t-shirts for their own brand and um, I have a video on my main channel of me trying out their site. It's uh, tgogo.com. And you can check out the customization there if you so choose to do that. If you want to make your custom t shirt and order it online. Yeah. Is that a. That's a terrible accent. I don't know what that is. I also met Madison Barones. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing the last name correctly. Maybe it's Baronies. Madison Baronies. I doubt it. And, um... And now we're also friends online. So that was pretty cool. Because I met someone in California that makes YouTube videos. And, um... We still... Well, we, we don't keep in that much contact. But we're Facebook friends. And we talk to each other sometimes. Um, and her YouTube channel is Madical Says, very funny, and she also runs the website MyHangoverStory.net, so, yeah. And I have a video of me talking to her on my channel. I also went to Disneyland, um, by myself, got boring after a little while, just 
walking Disneyland by myself. Wish I had someone to talk to, but like, as I said, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know really anyone there. Um, Mr. Stupidity, he also makes video. <laughs> he also milled. It's, it's spelt, it's misspelled on purpose because he he misspelled mis Mr. Stupidity. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> and he makes YouTube videos. I hung out with him. And uh, Mr. Repsion when I was hanging out with them. Oh, oh, and here's the, um, please subscribe. That is the documentary I saw. So, see, I saw it at Saturday at 11 a.m. noon, and, and that was the room that it was, that was in. So, oh, C Nanners. C Nanners was, was there, too. He was answering questions. So, if you know who that is. So Hannah Hart from My Drunk Kitchen, Mitchell Davis from Live Lava Live, Live. Um, C Nanners, he makes um, video game um, videos. Wheezy Waiter, uh, Daily Grace, yeah, she was in it. I wasn't sure, if, I don't think she was answering questions though, but she was in the documentary. And The Will of DC, Dan Brown, and District Lines. They're they're missing uh, mystery guitar man. He was also in it. Anyway, um, I also wrote down see like people's usernames of people I met. So I met quite a few people. So I tried to keep in contact with a few of the people I met. So there's uh, a Twitter handle, and I wrote a Twitter handle right here at Tenacious Hope. I don't remember who that is actually. And um, so here's a few other words. I met this guy named Hey Mike Mike. He he's a he was a film or he is a film director, um, and I looked up his film and one of his films has Gary Busey in it, which is pretty cool. Rock Rocks and Punch, Goofy Girlify, and it's a Twitter handle. I don't know. And let's see what this is for. Please note the following changes to your VidCon, VidCon agenda. Oh, there was a costume party, apparently. There were so many things going on at once. Shane Dawson singing. Daily Grace meetup. Oh, and so, like, there was, like, a lot of, you know, seminars, like, Breakout, how brands can engage in online video. So there was, like, a lot of bit more uh, seminars focused on maybe create like film or creating videos or more of the business side of creating videos, how to market yourself, how to brand yourself if you're more looking to be more serious in making video blogs or content online and being able to or, or like brands or companies could benefit in this as well because a lot of companies need to know how to use social media need to understand how to create content for their customers like Dell, McDonald's, all of those people n need to be able to run Facebook fan pages and Twitter accounts effectively and be able to use the, those tools to market themselves and to create YouTube videos and, and video content for people that's all part of marketing that's how you connect with your customers that's how it's done nowadays so it's really good for businesses to learn all this stuff too. I work in the industry of social media, by the way, if you didn't know that. Um, or Oracell, that's another person I met. And a couple other people, Sweet Susie and Carlos Doe, those are also people I got to meet. Um, so I don't know how long this video has been going on for because the screen that's recording me right now is broken. <clears throat> I I am sorry. That was rude of me. I'm gonna eat a raspberry. Um, I think that's all I had to say. Bye. I'll get my guitar here. I'll play my outro. Okay, fair enough. Alright, let's go for it. My Marino.
more videos. Alright. Peace.